So why did I sell Robinhood stock today? One of the first things that you guys should be able to see is that I still have a thousand shares, right? Uh, one of the things that I wanted to share with you guys is, you know, was my complete trade on Robinhood super successful? Well, no, not necessarily. Uh, last week, right, a couple days ago, uh, I took a position on Robinhood a little bit below $46 a share. I saw it to be a dip by opportunity, and I had to manage my risk with a thousand shares that I bought as Robinhood broke below $44. So I had to manage my risk. Again, it's a tough pill to swallow, but it's an opportunity that I chose to take, right? As Robinhood sold off, thankfully, I cut losses, right? It hit lows of $42, but then ended up making a recovery. It began to trade above the EMA line, actually indicating signs of an uptrend right as guess. It broke above $44 a share, right? Broke above $44 a share. I bought back in yesterday. I didn't just buy in with 1,000 shares. I bought in with a little bit over $200,000 in my Fidelity account. And as you guys can see with Robinhood, right? If you guys were watching my position, I had over 2,500 shares. So a little bit more. I really stepped on the gas as Robinhood began to indicate signs of an uptrend. Now, why did I sell most of my Robinhood position today? And I want to share with you guys, by the time the day or the market closes today, I will only hold 500 shares. It's still a decent amount of money. And trust me, don't get me wrong, I get that. Uh, but we all trade with different dollar amounts. So please take that into consideration that I did have 2,500 $2, shares and I decided to reduce it. And I just want to explain to you why. If you agree with me, great. If you don't agree with me, then so be it. I'm, I'm not here to convince you. I'm trying to explain why it is that I did what I did. On the four hour time frame, I'm going to ask you a very simple question. Is Robinhood bullish or bearish ever since its peak? Since its pullback from $85 a share, Robinhood has been making a consistent descending pattern, showing signs of lower highs and lower lows. And we all know that patterns tend to repeat themselves, but they don't always have to. But this has been a very consistent descending pattern. So as it sells off, it finds a support, it tries to rally, it gets rejected. It tries to rally, it gets rejected. It tries to rally, well, based off of the previous couple of times that it tried this, it gets rejected. So why would I want to hold a lot of Robinhood up here at these overbought levels with this descending resistance when it tends to get rejected? And that's the very simple idea that I'm here to share with you. If I were to share with you with the idea of like, Hey, you know, would you rather hold something like Robinhood for a long period of time with a descending pattern or would you rather hold something like TGT, right? If you look at this on the day chart, TGT for the past couple of months has been very bullish, very consistent and overall ascending uptrend pattern, right? Because the direction is in your favor, you're more willing and more confident to hold something overnight. It's more of a quality company. It has, it's proven itself that it is bullish. Where with Robinhood, it's proven itself that it can be bullish, but it pulls back just as aggressive. And more often than not, it tends to overall sell off, right? So we go back to the question or the the, the concern everyone has, you know, is Robinhood a buy or a sell right now? Uh, I'm not here to encourage you to buy, right? I'm not here to encourage you to sell. I'm just explaining to you why I am selling. I would love to buy more of Robinhood when it pulls on back to $40 or to $42. And based off previous patterns, every time that it pushes up, it gets rejected and it sells off. It pushes up and it gets rejected and it sells off. I don't wanna have 2,500 shares up here, right? And then it sells off and then not have the ability to have any money available to buy more. The only people that freak out when markets pull back are those that were not prepared. We're not here to predict the future, we're here to prepare for it. So I wanna have enough money in Robinhood, so I'll leave the 500 shares just in case it continues to rally. I can always buy back in and that's the best case scenario. I would rather not have a heavy position, ride that position all the way back down and then become an emotional mess, right? You wanna have enough money in a position that you feel motivated to follow up with it and take it seriously, but not so much money that when it pulls on back, you get discouraged. That's the worst feeling, especially when something is as clear as Robinhood. Obviously, patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't always have to. Robinhood can easily break below that resistance level, break above that resistance level. But until proven otherwise, until indication of that breakout, I don't want to hope that that breakout happens because hopeful is a very naive mentality when it comes down to trading very bearish stocks. And I'm sure if you guys have been trading for a while, a lot of you guys would agree, right? So I'll actually sell another 250 here. So I'll sell with a market order. 
and we'll sell at new highs. So I love it. So up 5,000 on the day. Robinhood just hit $48.26. And this reminds me of our live trading session this morning. We had an amazing live trading session. I don't know if you've ever, you know, uh, were able to watch me trade live. I trade live every single morning. And um, actually, I'll put the link down in the description. The first link down below will be the live trading session from this morning. Don't expect any glorious edit. It's literally just a raw live trading session for 40 minutes. You can see me buy, you can see me sell, right? You can see if I make mistakes, the takeaways, the conversations we have with our private group, all that stuff. So up a little bit over $5,600 on the day, reduced my position size, and I'm very excited to follow up with it, right? Let's make sure that our actions today are something that our future selves can thank us for. And I'm not here to be hopeful. I'm here to prepare. I'm not here to predict, right? I'd rather prepare than be surprised. And that's the mentality that we have within our LPP group. So I really do appreciate your guys' time. I hope that I earned your thumbs up in this video in explaining why I intend to sell Robinhood. And uh, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think it's a good way that I manage my position and that I manage my risk? Or... Do you think that Robin Hood is going to the moon and you're hoping for that? So there's no right or wrong answer. I'm just sharing with you my plan and my and my thought process. Um, like always, if you guys uh, want to, again, watch that video, that's going to be the first link in the description. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me via Discord and you guys can join our free Facebook group. That's that second link down below. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.